If you may have looked into the night sky, you may have noticed the moon appears to change shape each night. Some nights, the moon might look like a narrow crescent. Other nights, the moon might look like a bright circle. And on other nights, you may not be able to see the moon at all. The different shapes of the moon that we see at different times of the month are called moon phases. The moon phases are... The new moon is our first lunar phase. When the moon and the sun have the same ecliptic longitude, at this phase, the lunar disk is not visible to the unaided eye, but its presence may be detected because it occults stars behind it. The waxing crescent is an intermediate phase of the moon, which starts after the new moon and lasts until the first quarter. First quarter, the moon is 90 degrees away from the sun in the sky and is half illuminated from our point of view. We call it first quarter because the moon has traveled about a quarter of the way around the earth since the new moon. The waxing gibbous phase is when the lit up part of the moon grows from 50.1% to 99.9%. It starts just after the first quarter moon and lasts until the full moon. Waxing means that it is getting bigger, while gibbous refers to the oval to a round shape. A full moon occurs when the moon appears as a complete circle in the sky. We see it as a full orb because the whole of the side of the moon facing the earth is lit up by sun's rays. The moon produces no visible light of its own, so we can only see the parts of the moon that are lit up by other objects. The waning gibbous phase is when the lit up part of the moon shrinks from 99.9% to 50.1%. It starts just after the full moon and lasts until the last quarter moon. Waning means that it is shrinking and getting smaller, while gibbous refers to the oval to a round shape. A last quarter moon, also known as a third quarter moon, rises around midnight and sets around noon. The moon is nearly back to the point where its orbit and its day side directly faces the sun, and all that we see from our perspective is a thin curve. You'll see a waning crescent moon, sometimes called an old moon, in the east before dawn. On each successive morning, a waning crescent moon will show us less and less of its lighted portion, or day side. Each day, it rises closer to the sunrise heading for the new moon, when the moon will be between the earth and sun.